In this video, I will be unboxing um, Victron Charge Controller MPPT uh, 250 volt 100 ampere hour, and I will try to explain to us how we can do a calculation for series arrangement and for parallel arrangement. We want to do series arrangement to be able to know the number of panels that will be connected to the charge controller either in series or in parallel to know the number of maximum or to know the maximum number of panels that can be connected we we need to divide the voltage of the charge controller by the voltage of the, the output voltage or the open circuit voltage of one of the panel in this case i've divided it by one and i have 6.5 that is 250 volt divided by 38 volt. This 38 volt is the open circuit voltage of one of the panels, and I'm able to get 6.5 um, panels. And uh, we have to run this up or to run it down because you cannot have half human being or half panel. So instead of using 6.5 panel, we will use six, six panels. And this is an example if we are using three. This is 38 plus 38 plus 38. It will give me 114 volt, which is still lesser than what I have as the maximum voltage for this charge controller. So in that case, if I'm using three, I'm still okay. And if I'm connecting it this way in series, it means I will have 114 volt by 8.5 amps. I will have 8.5 amps flowing in this circuit. Alternatively, if I want to know what is my ham? Well, if I want to connect it in parallel, I will, this is one panel, another panel, another panel. So positive to positive, positive to positive, negative to negative, negative to get negative. In the case of the series connection, it is negative to positive, negative to positive. But in the case of parallel connection, positive to positive, positive to positive, negative to negative, negative to negative. So I will be dividing the current, the current of my panel with the current open circuit current of the panel. So the open circuit current of the panel is 8.5, while the um, um, current for the charge controller is 100 amps. So I am able to get 11.76 and um, approximately, approximately we have to round it down, it will be like um, 11 but uh, ideally we want to do panel in series it is better to follow the even number so one can use 10 panels instead of 11 panel but we still use 11 panel that will still be very very okay for this very very design so if we look at this arrangement now so it means the voltage for this panel will be 38 volt 38 volt 38 volt but the current will be 25.5 amps that is 8 amps, 8.5 amps plus 8.5 amps plus another 8.5 amps. So if we add the three together, I will have 25.5 amps, which is still lesser to this um, 100 amps. But if you want to maximize the current of this charge controller, it used to be connecting between 11 and 10 panels in parallel. And it could be array. This one I could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On this series, one, two, three, four, five, six. This series, and I can have eleven of it. Like I can have six in series, and eleven of those six in the in parallel for this charge controller. How do I know the maximum panel to connect to a charge controller? Simply multiply the voltage of the charge controller with the current of the charge controller. So I have two twenty-five thousand watt, which is twenty-five twenty-five kilowatt. So uh, it means if I want to know the number of panels that I can connect like in this scenario now so I have three I have three panels and then the um, wattage for each of the panels it is uh, 323 watt 323 watts and 3 in the case of series it will give me 696 and similarly with this one if you want to check further 114 volt times 8.5 amps will still give me 969 watt then um, 38 volt multiplied by 25.5 amps it will still give me 
969 watt. And if I take the wattage of the panel directly and I multiply it, 323 watt times 3 will still give me 6, um, 969 watt. So with this, I know that if I'm using three panels on this charge controller, it is far, far, far lesser than what the charge controller can take. So I can, if you look at it, the total number of panels that can be used on this will be, if we, if we, we take, um, we take it to be six, that is, we have six in series, then times 11. So it will be around 66 panel. And 66 panel times three, uh, 323 will give me 21,000 kilowatt, which is still lesser than the 25,000 kilowatt. So averagely, I can use between 66 and the 68 panels and if you want to know what is the maximum number of this panel that have been connected to this I can say 25,000 divided by 3, 2, 3 watts if I'm using 3, 2 watts so I can connect 77 panels to this charge controller this is a simple way of knowing the number of panels that a charge controller can take or how the charge controller can be connected either to be connected in series or to be connected in parallel and the maximum power that the charge controller can take. In this scenario, what the type of charge controller we have is Victron charge controller that is 250 volt and the 100 amp. So if I have 77 panels, conveniently this panel can be used with it. And you can see this is MPPT 250, 250 volt, the 100 ampere hour. It is a Victron. It is Victron. Uh, charge controller and at uh, this point we connect our our input to it and then we have our output here this is the battery connection and this is the pv pv connection you know before opening the carton this is how the controller look like there is, if you note that there is no output um, output display on victron charge controller for you to be able to get your output display you will need to get um the output monitor and this is where the terminal goes in and this is the uh, heat sink on the charge controller itself this is the box of the charge controller what we have under it is the Vitron inverter itself which I will still be explaining in uh, another video just like the channel subscribe to the channel and turn up the notification button for more updates on the things that has to do with the installation of solar inverter and uh, some other things that we have on this channel is a is a smart solar charge controller you can control it with your bluetooth you can view what is going on on your controller with your bluetooth you can control it to the monitor and then uh, to um, output monitor and then to your internet and you can see monitor it remotely and this one can take it can take 48 volt system 24 volt system and 12 volt system this system i'm referring to is our um converter so if you have an inverter or a converter that is 12 volts, then you can use it with it. It is 24 volts, you can use it with it. It is 48 volts, you can use it with it. Like this Vitron charger, this Vitron converter, it is 10 kVA and it is 48 volts. So this is the battery connection. We have the positive at the left hand side, the negative, and then for the PV that is coming from the solar panel, we have the negative at this side and we have the positive at this side. These are the terminal. Then, if it is full, this line, this um, indicator will indicate its load, absorption, and bulk. Then, this is the full. Uh, we look at this is the battery terminal. This is for the positive connection, negative connection. Then, this side is for the PV. This is the negative connection, and this side is the positive connection. And uh, it should be noted that when we are connecting this type of device, we should know the current that will be fed into the controller. So this will determine the type of cables that we will use. That is, this, is, the, is it 10 mm, is it 16 mm, or whatever uh, cable we are using, the DC cable we are using. So it's 250 volts PV open circuit voltage up to 100 amps charging current. So if it can take up to 100 charging amp uh, current, so it means uh, if, we are, if we are driving the controller at this very current, you need to use a bigger cable where we want to be able to get the appropriate thing and the com uh, the controller itself makes use of 10 milliamp for operation and uh, this is um, 
Vitron converter 10 kVA -E, and then the uh, controller is on top of it inside the box as we have removed it from the box and we have seen the way it looked like. The way it is on the carton is the same way it looked like. The only terminal, the major terminal we need to work with is the battery terminal and the the PV terminal. Other terminals are for maybe monitoring or going to connect one or two devices to to the to the controller to be able to monitor it either remotely or want to connect it to a physical device for us to be able to to monitor it. You know the battery monitor looks like uh, this. Uh, it is uh, you connect it to the negative terminal and then you connect the other parts to the other part. I will still be explaining this in another video. This is the uh, battery monitor. You know one leg going to this list from the negative to this list from this negative to the negative end of the battery. Thank you for your time and uh, thank you for your attention. I will appreciate if you can subscribe to this channel and uh, for more updates and for more um, video. We will tell us more about how to install inverter and how to install controller and all the things that we have to do with the installation of inverter solar panel. Thank you for thank your you. time and, and see you in another bless. video. We appreciate your comments, your uh, feedback as we as we grow this channel together. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel for more updates, for more information